Okay, I know this is really early 2023, but I am already very confident that this will be my favorite bag of the year. For me personally, sling bags need to have a good middle ground of big enough to carry essentials and maybe something bigger like a camera, but they should not be too big to overwhelm you. In the end, the sling bag, in my humble opinion, should only be a bag that keeps your pockets empty, but not be too bulky and get in your way. Moreover, if a sling bag is too big, it does tend to slide around and wiggle itself downward to sit underneath your armpit. That is why for me a sling bag should not be bigger than 2 liters capacity. This is the Evergoods Civic Access Sling 2 liters. Just like all Evergoods bags, this is incredibly well made and all of the compartments are well thought out. You have a front main compartment that easily can hold my camera which is the Fuji X100S, but actually is also big enough to carry a Nintendo Switch if you like. In the back you have another compartment with two slots that are great for your wallet and maybe a power bank. Furthermore there is a zippered compartment that has two slots that are visible with this mesh and another pocket behind it. The see-through pockets are great for small items like this everyday carry pen or even coins when you get some change and just like me use a wallet like the Exter that has a slot for bills but not for coins. Check out one of my extra wallet reviews up here. The other slot is great for valuables like your passport for instance. In my upcoming video called Travel Essentials, I will go more into detail about that. Please don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss that video. Basically the slot is somewhat hidden and close to your body and double protected by two zippers, making it slightly more cumbersome for pickpockets and therefore more secure. Speaking of security, if you watched my I don't like fitlocks video that you can watch up here, you might know that I dislike fitlocks on essential places like the one and only strap on a sling bag. On my motorcycle it actually happened once that a fitlock accidentally opened during my ride because I bumped against the fitlock. This can become dangerous. That is why I'm really happy that the CAS2 has a secure and regular buckle to open and close. Yes, some might consider this boring, but it is true and tested. And I am confident that this won't just open during a ride. While we are talking about the strap, this is the one and only negative, but actually also somewhat of a big deal to me. The strap ends don't have any strap end organizers. The strap ends basically just dangle around. This doesn't look that great but also is annoying when they flap around in the wind on my motorcycle or just flap around while I'm walking. So what I did is to use some gaffers tape and fold it up a little and created somewhat of a strap and organizer to keep them in place. In the end this is easily fixed but I'd wish Evergoods would have added something to tidy up the strap ends. But that's it, I don't have any more negatives about this bag. I love the look of the slate version especially because because it has a bright inner lining. The size is perfect for my needs and the build quality of Evergoods bags never disappoint. The missing strap and organizers are the only downside that I would recommend to fix on your own by either using gaffer's tape or a zip tie. I love the Evergoods CAS2 sling bag and I am very confident that this will be one of my favorite bags this year. So if you are looking for a great EDC sling bag, check out the Evergoods CAS2. And if you are thinking of buying one and you would like to support this channel, please consider using the affiliate link below. That way you don't pay more but there will be a small kickback to support this channel. And if you have any further Okay, the first question is, what do viewers usually forget? Oh, okay, Jeff, I know, I, I, I do know the answer. I think they forget to subscribe, they forget to push the notification bell, um, they forget to like and to comment below. Is that correct? Yes, yes, that is totally correct and you won yes. it. Also, check out my Instagram, podcast and second channel at You Know The Boat. Stay safe and healthy, everyone, and i see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.